All right, everyone. Hello and welcome back to some more Dragon Quest 11 S. I know it's been quite a while. It's been a hot minute since we've done anything, but I've uh, attempted to make... I've made attempts in grinding my characters out to uh, have them maybe be as close to best as they can for something we've left undone. We have not taken care of the secret super boss after defeating the friend of time. So we are going to attempt to do that. I can't guarantee that I'm going to get it done. I've tried. I haven't done it on my Switch. I haven't done it on here, my first playthrough. It's just, it is a super boss. It is a boss that has a lot of kind of unfair bullshit to you. It just kind of does whatever the fuck it wants. And I know people have broken down its AI and its mechanics to figure out how to manipulate it. That's not me, and I really don't have much care or desire to do that. I just want to beat the boss. Unfortunately, it stops me from getting my last two achievements in the game, because we've done everything the game has to offer. And it gives you a piece of gear. So I will not get all item, all appearance changing gear, which is the last achievement I need, and then I can't get the last achievement on Steam for it, so... Oh well, I've, I've completed the game. I think it's fair to say I've completed what this game has to offer. So I know it's weird to do this at the start, but we are going to hit a quick save really fast. I was doing a lot of grinding, a lot of seed grinding to try and max out stats. But now that that's done, Let's try and take on this super boss. I love this song. So there's our dark star. There is where this boss is going to be. It's like a reskin version of it. But let's um do I have everyone set up? Is my party already? This is this is probably not going to work. I'm doing all this and it's not going to do jack shit for me, but you know what? We're doing it anyway. Let's go. Time to die. It's great power within a dark power, point enough to tear the world asunder. Please, put an end to the evil that lurks in this unholy void once and for all. Yes. Oh, this is gonna suck. This is gonna really, really suck. Thunderous otherworldly voice echoes through the air. Ah, you are sorely mistaken if you think we will stand for this. Erdria's destiny lies in darkness. In lost time, the light shall not be suffered to live. You shall not be suffered to live. All those who hinder the spread of eternal night shall be destroyed. The end of time is nigh. Not even a memory will remain when we are through with you. I should have left a certain dagger on Eric. That's fine. Let's see. So this is basically a reskin version of the final boss from Act 1. But... Already not a good start. I got bad RNG on this. Okay, so... I just gotta roll with the punches here. Um, where is it? Oh, she lost pet power? Oh, damn, that makes us worse. Okay. So, do I have anything to heal? Nope. Well, I got bad RNG right off the start from this, so that, that kind of sucks. Let's see. I got, yeah, I've got to use the Omni Heal. And then let's do I don't know. I'm kinda of at a loss of what to do right now since you know I got fucked right at the beginning. I need to get I guess I don't need Eric back up. I just need someone. Okay, so now I just need to Oh dear. Yeah, this is why it gets kind of kind of unfair. Uh, I'll use an Omni Heal again. Oh, 
Yep, okay, well this is not gonna go well at all. Not what I wanted to do, but fine. We'll just go with this then. Oh, right. I need to use the... Oh, I don't have an elf and elixir on. Damn. All right, well. Oh, here we go. I should have used that on. Yep, there's that other attack. Well, fuck. It's okay. I'm just going to do this instead. There's no point. Like, I got... I got a dog shit... I got an absolute terrible RNG at the start, so there's really nothing I can do here. Yep, now we're... Yep. And we're dead. There we go. Yeah, I'm not going to be wasting my items on this. Let's see. Eh, whatever. Where is... Yeah, I wish my move would get rid of the mist with the Super Sword of Light, but it doesn't for some reason, because they just had to make this box boss really, really stupid to fight. So I'm just going to do whatever now. Not going to even attempt to be optimal with this. Yep, there we go. We died. And that's Time Worm, everybody. I have zero intention of beating this boss. His moves are horseshit. The way he attacks is just god-awful. He gives you no chance. And if you get poor RNG right off the start, you pretty much have to restart the whole thing all over again. So yeah, don't expect me to beat this boss. Uh, let's go fight the final boss now. This is going to be footage that's been recorded months and months ago. So if it's a bit different, sorry. But let's go back in time and fight the final boss. With a significantly lower level and worse gear. We have set ourselves up, we've prepared, we've gone through Drunston's trials, we've made a supreme sword of light, we have the sword of light. Everyone has got pretty much the top gear that they can get at this current point in time without me doing too much extra, and everything's ready. We are set. It's time for us to call Calamus, use the Calamus flute to call Cetacea. And now, time for us to go fight Calasmos. And there he is, right over there. We're going headlong straight into him. Let me actually make sure I've got my party how I want them. All right, let's go, everybody. It's time for us to take on Kalasmos. Almighty evil emanates from within the Black Star. Begin the final battle with Kalasmos? Yes. And we've broken in into the dark star and the void around him.
radiating from him, it's... it's almost unbearable. Leave Trigon be that, Yggdrasil. I shall destroy the world tree. The void shall consume you all. To best such a foe may seem pure folly, but we cannot flinch or falter. We are our world's last and only hope. Can we really do this? Oh, honey, you better believe we can. Come on, we've waited our whole lives for this moment. We'll win, all right. He won't know what hit him. This is it. It's time to do what you were born to do. Ready? Here it comes. The final showdown. Let's do this. Hey, Mimi, thanks for the raid. Just in time, we're about to take on the final boss. Alright. So for those of you who don't know, there is something very important you can keep up with in this part of the game. I just gotta wait for... Let's see. Let's go ahead and hit some revamps. And meanwhile... We have something important to do. Behold. He's no longer protected. Give me the music. Oh, this is Dragon Quest 3. Giga falls ungraciously. Try a kabuff. Actually, no, I think this is Dragon Quest Eight. Yes, it is. I'm pretty certain this is Dragon Quest Eight. Oh god. Oh, that hurt. It's okay, that's what we got Omni Heal for. Oh yes. Here you are. 
He guffaws ungraciously. Oh god. Give another Giga Gas, shall we? Take that, Kalasmos. Come on, Eric. I need you to pick up the slack, buddy. Mass cracked and falls away. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, I gotta take care of those guys quickly. Let's see. Spells. Try a uh, Kaswoosh. Eric, come on, man. Let's try a pink tornado. Already? Oh, God. That's rough. That's not good. I gotta take care of those guys, but I got to... Really should heal. Otherwise, it's gonna be bad news bears. Let's try Cobra Striking. Actually, I, I really want to get rid of that claw. Let's just get... see what we can do for it. Critical Claim on the claw. Sounds good to me. God, okay. Uh, healing would very much be very nice. Please don't. Okay. Well, I can bring him back. That's fine. Omni heal if you would. Please and thank you. I can kazing him back to life. Come back, Eric, best buddy. All right, let's hit you with a Cobra Strike, Kalasmos. Like yes, you're certainly not. Jade, take a break. Let's get Hendrick up in this. Oh, you don't like that? How about a Giga Gash, buddy? Yeah, get that arm out of here, friend. Oh, that killed Eric. Okay. It's okay. I can kazing him back and then bring him uh, back to life myself. Or heal him myself. With an oh, that did a lot, actually. Alright, so I gotta get rid of those guys again. That's eh, not fun. Alright, so we're gonna do a divide. And I'll hit him with another Giga Gash. Am 
My friend, I request uh, axes of evil on these darklings. And Serena, I request an Omni Heal from you, fair lady. Let's try Falcon Slash on this cannon arm. Eric, you know what you must do. Victimize the shit out of him. You look at his face now. He's beautiful. Hendrick, while you're at it, scrap metal him. Scrap metal. You gonna like this one, buddy? I got something for you. He's almost there. He is almost dead. Let me go ahead and get rid of his stupid ass cannon. Squelch. Get just get rid of it. Everyone except me? Eric? Okay. If that's the way you want to play it. play that game as well, buddy. That's right. Guffaw ungraciously. Oh, dear. Alright, you want to play that game? Fine. When does time resume? Ow. Oh, hey, there we go. Ow. Really? All right, sure. I got a divide, though, for you. Can I use a pet power? Let's do it, Serena. I need to take care of those guys. This is gonna suck. A Giga Gash. Actually, a Quadra Slash might be very good. What? I don't think so. I'm about to whew, victimize the shit out of you, Kalasmos.
Can I swoosh this? I gotta get rid of those Darklings. They're gonna be terrible. Come on, Hendrik. All right, fine. Uh, Eric, you need to be put to the side. I'm going to need Veronica. Whoops. Okay. We got to do something about that very, very quickly. Uh, what could I do? I could... I got Kabuff. I don't think it's going to do much against that, but... Hendrick? Parallax, if you please, on the cannon. Alright. Ooh, this is going to be rough. Magic Burst. There we go. On Kalamos must is back. Oh. Whew. Well, it's a. Uh... Oh, Veronica, the one person I didn't need to fall asleep. Oh, I can still switch her out? Oh, good. I'm having to use everyone for this fight. This is why I love in Final Battles, man. When you're at just the right level, you have to use your entire team and everything you've got. It's incredible. Hatchet Man? Connect? Yes? Yes. Oh, that's it. That was the hit. Kalasmos is defeated. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that we have actually defeated the game, before we roll on to the to the next segment, I want to show off how just how busted you can be while defeating Kalasmos. It's it's pretty great. It's pretty pretty nasty and I am all for it. I'm going to tidy things up just a smidge. And ooh, you know what? I want to be extra nasty. I've got one on you. I'm going to transfer one over to you. But I want to be a little extra nasty if that's all right. So let's go on and let's see how Kal Kalasmos fares against us. No. How Kalasmos fares against us at our our ultimate power at our final forms. If, do I have everyone in their proper equipment? Yep, y'all are probably ain't even gonna be seen, but we'll keep y'all there anyway. Away we go into Kalasmos's realm. All right, who gets to go first this time? Eric, okay, please let Cobra strike Venomate him. Nope. Okay, well. Now we're I got this, everybody. Get fucked, Kalasmos. See, it's so funny to me still, because this wasn't originally voice acted in the original, this section here. It's just the text. So I didn't remember that it had the dialogue in this when I played. This is Dragon Quest VIII. Boss music, let's go. All right, let's do this. Be gross, shall we? No, you've made some mistakes, friend. You made some very big mistakes. That's fine, though. 
you can make all those mistakes you want because... <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, nah. Can I do anything else to bump this up? Nope, doesn't look like it. So you're just gonna defend, lady. And then... Oh, it's Eric again? Perfect. Cobra Strike, please. Damn, he's not getting envenomated at all. That's fine. Veronica, do your business. Do your business, girl. There you go. I know I was quiet for that, but that that's just how you can really, really fuck Kalasmos up. Just really nail him down. That wasn't even the best that I could do. I was trying to get a Cobra Strike on him and, like, use the divide with the Envenomated thing to do, like, an absurd amount of fucking damage, but I just couldn't get him uh, Cobra Strike, but that's fine. I could have just used Divide and used Critical Acclaim. Mighty Magic Burst twice in a row would just did absolutely obliterate him uh but yeah so that's that uh let's get back to the uh get back to the past shall we to the end of the game it's been a long time running again thank you guys so much Shall live on 
I shall endure. Light, foul light, hideous. Why do you burn so bright? Come on, Cetacea, you got this. Yeah. We did it. We saved the world. Safe at last. What began with hope in the Eastern Canyon so long ago finishes here today with us. What are you looking so serious for? We should be celebrating. Get it? You're thinking of her, aren't you? You want to go and help her. Well, what are we waiting for? Right on, Cetacea. To the Lost Tower of Time. There's one last thing that needs to be done. There's one final task for the Luminary to do. Because it's not done yet. I have one final thing left to do. One last person to save who deserves happiness. The one person who tried but couldn't have it. Serenica.
Break the time sphere. Reunite with the one you couldn't, the one you had lost. You deserve it, Serenica. Thank you, Luminary. I hope she finds him. She just disappeared. Why can't I shake the feeling this has all happened before? <laughs> Don't worry about it, Eric. Don't worry about it. It has, but we all need to know. The Dark One defeated and their journey at an end, Eleven and his companions return home. Then one day... Boy, my little treasure, I was worried you are going to spend the whole day in bed. It's another wonderful sunny day, so you should be out there enjoying it. You're the one who brought the light back, after all. Go out and greet the world. Everyone will be happy to see you. I know they will. Do you remember the first time you set off on your adventures? I was so worried I stayed up all night making you a charm to keep you safe. Feels like ages ago now, doesn't it? To think you ended up saving the world, we just thought you were off to Heliodor. And even though you're a big hero now, to me you'll always be Eleven. And wherever you go, I'll always be waiting for you here in Cobblestone. Go see what we have waiting for us. There's Serena and Veronica. Well, look who it is. It's so nice to see you again. It feels like an age now since we defeated the Dark One, doesn't it? Now, let's get down to business, shall we? We've been worried that your life might be lacking purpose now things have quietened down. Do you remember the vision we saw some time ago? The one where Serenica and the Watchers sent Kalasmos up to his prison in the sky? Well, afterwards, Serenica took the Sword of Light back to its rightful resting place in the heart of Yggdrasil, didn't she? So, we were thinking, what with the sword being such a symbol of Erdria's newfound peace and everything, we should do as Serenica did. We should return it to the World Tree for safekeeping. I mean, I have still the Supreme Sword of Light. I know how attached to it you are, but we couldn't help thinking it would be safer with Yggdrasil. And besides, we wouldn't want you losing it, would we? Well, I have the Supreme Sword of Light, so I don't so really need it. Say? Shall we take the Sword of Light back to where it belongs? No. Don't be like that. We can't have the most important weapon in the world rusting in a cow shed in cobblestone, can we? Come on, I know you must be itching to get back on the road again. Stop being such a spoil sport. So what do you say? Shall we take the Sword of Light back to where it belongs? Fine. That's the spirit. Right, we're ready when you are, so just let us know when you want to set off. I'm sure we won't be gone for too long, but it's quite a way to Yggdrasil and back. Why don't you go and say your goodbyes, and we'll wait here for you. I've got no goodbyes to say. Like I said, I, I still have the Supreme Sword of Light, so it's not like it really matters giving up the Sword of Light, does it? Let's go. Yep, let's go. Get going. Time to take the Sword of Light back to its rightful resting place. Levin sets out for Idrisil with Veronica and Serena. Been a while since we had to make this journey, but we're doing it again. 
all the way up to the heart of Yggdrasil. Time to return the Sword of Light to Yggdrasil, Eleven. Now that the battle with the Dark One is over, we have to return the sword where it belongs. We'll rest there forever, an eternal symbol of hope. Oh. It was so nice uh -huh. to spend time with you again, Eleven. It's always so much fun. Now it's time for our journey to end. The Sword of Light must be returned to Yggdrasil. As one thing ends, though, another begins. We'll have adventures together again someday. I'm sure of it. God, this is the song for... Where you see Yggdrasil in Dragon Quest Nine. Oh, this song. So many memories of this song and the time I spent playing DQ9. Being in that altar room. Oh, makes me feel like I'm 13 again. It's so good. Oh, I love it. If this game, it just makes me so happy and smile. That's what it does. This game makes me smile. And unfortunately, like all good things, they have to come to an end at some point, right? So this is where our journey in Dragon Quest XI ends, everyone. Returning the Sword of Light. Back where it belongs. Coming here brings back a lot of memories, doesn't it? It's such a special place. At first there was nothing. Then came the light. That's how the books of legend begin. The world was a cold, desolate wasteland. And then light dawned. It was the gift of the world tree. And it gave birth to Erdria, our beautiful home. This is where it all began. This is the source from which the river of life flows. I think it's time, don't you? Time to return the Sword of Light to its rightful resting place. Yggdrasil and I are one and the same. Long, long ago, I did battle with Kalasmos. I was defeated. My radiance was extinguished. I had been the source of all light. Without me, the world grew dim. Until finally, darkness reigned entirely. But that was not the end. The Watchers, my erstwhile comrades in arms, came to my aid. Set in motion once again. I shed my old form and took on a new one. That of Yggdrasil. And I set about creating this world. How long? 
long have I waited for true heroes to appear and bring this story to an end. I could not defeat Kalasmos, nor could Erdwin before you. Now, it fell to you to vanquish him once and for all. And we did it. We did defeat him. Luminary. You are the one. The savior of Erdria. I hereby confer upon you the title of Erdrich. Mightiest of heroes. Know this, Erdrich. Darkness will surely rise again. None can say when, nor what form it might take. Perhaps I myself may even succumb to the night. But one thing we can know for certain, these things will never die. Should the worst come to pass and darkness consume my soul, a hero will surely arise to take the sword in hand once more. And the echoes of that hero's valor shall ring through the ages. And it leads into fucking Dragon Quest 1. With our hero from DQ1 fighting the Dragon Lord. And that is Dragon Quest 11, everybody. Then we here we are now. DQ 10, DQ 11. Saranka has been sent to the past just as we were before. And she's going to find the love she never could before. The one that was stolen away from her and the one that was killed before her eyes. And then she sees them. And the lovers reunite through time. There's one final thing for it to tell us. She puts the book away, telling another story. But there's a familiar scene here, one that Dragon Quest fans will very much remember. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Morning, my darling. 
It's time to get up. Today's a very important day. And that's the beginning to Dragon Quest 3 right there. That's the opening scene of Dragon Quest 3 rendered in. That, that, when I first saw that, put a smile on my face. Dragon Quest 11, 2017, 2020. Square Enix. Record? Yes.